Hi Sushi, it's I'm Kitty from Sushi and I'm going to show you how to draw a cartoon groundhog. So this was a fan request, so let's get started. First up what we do is we draw an oval. Like that. And then we draw a circle. Like that. Let's make that oval a bit bigger. Oh, and then I'm just going to bring it smooth off that top bit slightly so it kind of looks bigger down here than it does up there. So we're just kind of moving the points of the oval down, that little curve of the oval down. And that'll be the uh, groundhog's cheeks. And then what we do is we just take the circle and take a line from that circle up to the oval. Like that. And then we draw an oval, a little oval there for the leg, a little oval there for the leg. And then we draw a teardrop a shape. And then another teardrop shape. For the feet, and then we draw a little curved line for toes. And then on this side as well for toes. And then for the tail, just going to bring a curved line down like that, then up and around, and then down. Like that. And then for the arms. Again, just some teardrop shapes there, and again on the side, we'll have them kind of waving hello, so we'll just kind of curve up that teardrop shape a little bit more, so it looks like he's waving. And then again, we'll just put a couple of lines there for, to show the toes, the claws. And then we take a line across there, like that, to give us a guideline for the eyes. So I'm just going to draw an oval with a circle for highlight, then another oval with a circle for highlight for the eyes, and then we just draw a little, almost like a little triangle there. For the nose and just round those corners like that and then we're going to add a little oval just for a highlight on the nose there then we just take a line up there and a line up there make the eye slightly bigger and then for its cheeks I'm just going to bring a line down and up and around like that and then again on the side like that and then a little line down and a curved line across I'll give him a big smile and put a little line there and there Oops. like that and then we'll put little circles in there for cheeks. And then one, two, three whiskers out the side. One, two, three whiskers out the side. And then for his teeth, we draw a rectangle like that. And then put a line down there. I'll we'll just give him a little bit of a chin too by drawing just a little curved line like that. And then some eyebrows. Just like that. Give him some eyelashes too, so just a couple of lines out the sides of his eyes. And then for his ears, we just draw some little ovals up the top. Like that. And then a line 
just like that to show the inner bar, part of the ear. Then we'll give them a little quiff and all we do to do that is just kind of bring a line up from the top and then go just make a little kind of half circle kind of shapes at the top there. And then for his tummy, just kind of follow that outer line around, just make it smaller. And coming out from his chin. And then we'll just put one, two, three little half circles there to show some texture on his fur underneath his chin. Then just getting back to these legs. Just gonna bring that around like that. So when we ink in, we won't ink in part of that line there. Just to show that the legs are actually behind the tummy, but still formed. Oops. Still attached. <laughs> yeah, so we just won't draw that bit. And put there like that. Cool. And then we just grab our black pens and go back in and ink in the pencil lines. Then we just go back in and double up the thickness of the main parts of the illustration to make it look even more cartoony.
Then we just wait for the ink to dry. Then we just go back in and rub out the pencil lines. So there you have it, a groundhog. Happy drawing!